you're not lying. It's commercial real estate. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So a lot of you may not be aware of this if you haven't watched my videos, but when it comes to New York City and real estate, they tend to have a problem when it comes to honesty and truth in advertising. And sometimes they'll say that spaces are a certain size when they're actually not a certain size. And you may notice that if you look back on this playlist that I made a few years ago on all the different locations that I checked out when I was looking for a new store. So I was carrying around this little Bosch laser measure and I would just show up to these different places and I would just look at the ad and then measure what I actually got afterwards. And usually you got something like this. So this is an ad for a store that is $10,000 for 1,800 square feet. And when you actually measure the space like this, here's what you get, 838 square feet. And just know it's not me. It's the way it's listed, that's yeah. how I get but it. But did you so post the ad or did they post the ad? No, I, you see, they don't. Why no? Well, is that the ad or is that the way it's, well, you know, e uh, Exactly. Yeah, that, that there was literally less than 50%. And then there were other spaces like this one over here that just, just goes on for days where, you know, I, I go to measure the inside of it. The space claims that it is 2,500 square feet. What was this? Uh, how many square feet? Yep, I got you. 2,500. All right, 2,500. Okay, front section is 472. I mean, that's the thing. It so they claimed that the space was about 2,400 square feet, and it's not even 1,800. And what was really interesting here, the part that just oh, absolutely grinds my gears, is the explanation given. You know, it's the way, it's the business. I, I don't mind that they you do that. It would just, if, if they would be... Prices. Well, see, that's a false dichotomy, because I, don't, I mark up my prices, but I also don't lie about the shit that I'm selling and claim it's something it's not. They're not lying. It's commercial real estate. They... They're not lying, it's commercial real estate. That's a saying that I actually put on a mug a while back. I still have that mug, by the way. And one of the things that I found funny after this experience living in New York City was reading this one particular article on the uh, cases against Trump. Now, to be clear, I was never exactly a big fan of Trump. When 2024 comes along, I'd really rather see Ron DeSantis competing against Biden than Trump, and I'd rather see him win than Trump or Biden. But this was an article that I just could not help but laugh at. So it says, Trump's suit seeks to erase a New York hometown success story. The Attorney General wants to permanently bar Trump from doing business in the state. And one of the things that they say over here is that he falsely inflated his net worth by, you know, lying about his real estate. He said that she, she pointed a statement that his Trump Tower penthouse was three times its actual size and boasted the value of his... Anyway, it's like... Yeah, he lied about the size of his real estate. <laughs> he lied about the size of his real estate. I just, I just can't imagine how this conversation's gonna go. <laughs> Trump, how dare you lie? How dare you lie? We're in New York City and we're honest about the size of our real estate here. <laughs> you know, this actually reminds me of something my uncle did because my uncle was a police officer and he had written somebody a ticket for jaywalking and the guy was actually able to beat it by going to court and arguing as part as defense. This is like the early 80s. He was arguing, okay, when was the last time that anybody in your precinct ever wrote anybody up for jaywalking and he was able to get it discarded because it must have been some sort of prejudicial enforcement of the law because it was never applied to anybody else. He was the first person in his precinct in years to ever write a ticket for jaywalking. And I'm very curious if that, it would be funny if that type of argument were made. made. Like, yes, I lied about the size of my real estate and the value of it. So does the rest of the fucking city. And you never seemed to care until it was me. So I'm very curious to see where this goes. You know, I, I really hope that she doesn't go on LoopNet because if she goes on LoopNet or Craigslist, then, you know, half of New York City might wind up in prison. It really took this to get the state attorney general to realize that people in New York City that own real estate lie about the size and value of that real estate. No shit. They do it so regularly that she literally looked me in the eyes with my camera on, knowing I was recording, and said, it's not lying. It's commercial real estate. Lying is culturally ingrained into the culture with New York City real estate. It has been ingrained into the culture of New York City real estate since before I was alive. But magically, somehow, because it's Trump, now it's an issue that's worth, uh, I just, I, just I, I couldn't help but find this funny. Don't you just love it when you're going to edit the video and half of it is corrupted? But getting back to our topic here. So it seems like some of the things that got lied about here was there was a 10,000 square foot apartment that he said was about 30,000 square feet. And there was a building that was appraised around 200 to $220 million that he was claiming was worth $500 million. All right. 
That's a lie. That's BS. And yes, regardless of whether or not you or I occasionally ideologically agree or disagree with what Trump says, a lot of times full of shit, just objectively full of shit. And it's what you expect because he's a New York City real estate mogul and that's what they do. I visited about 150 real estate listings in 2019 and about 30% of them I captured on camera. I don't know how many of these I have to capture before you get the idea that they're lying about everything about the space all the time in a manner that just doesn't happen in other areas of the country. I am reminded of this one particular line from one of my favorite episodes of The Honeymooners that I'll play from here. I know she doesn't mean the thing she says, Alice, it's just a nature. She doesn't mean to be mean. She's just born that way. <laughs> He doesn't mean to be a liar. He was just born a New York City real estate person. And that's what they do, which is why I find this so particularly funny. Like, to be clear, I'm not even saying don't go after him. By all means, if he lied and made shit up, go after him. But now you got to go after the other half of the city that's been doing this shit for over 30 years in public, literally telling people it is not lying. It is commercial real estate. That is what they all do. So now if we are entering a new era where you are expected to be honest in New York City, where you have to do business like an actual honest business person, where you cannot lie about the size of your space, where you cannot lie about the value of your space, that would be awesome. I'm confident this is not just being done because they don't like Trump as a president, right? Yes, Trump is a lying piece of shit, like most of the people that work in New York City real estate professionally. I'm very, very curious if this is going to be something that they crack down on. Again, if you don't have your license number on your receipt when you run a small repair shop, God help you. If you have three licenses and only two license numbers are on your receipt, you're getting a $500 fine. But if you have a building that's worth $8 million and you're lying about it for the purposes of getting a few extra $100,000 a year, nobody cares. This is one of the things that drove me absolutely nuts is that nobody cares. You can lie in plain view. There's nobody to complain to about it. Nobody's ever going to get a write-up or a fine because the people that own the property get treated differently than the people that run businesses inside the property. And that's annoying, but that's okay. That's one of the reasons I don't live in that fucked up city anymore. But I've just found it absolutely hysterical that in this, that one of the things is, he lied about the size of his real estate. How dare he? You didn't care for over 30 years and everybody else was doing it. And now you care when he did it. Again, I've never been a fan of Trump. Always thought he was kind of a piece of shit. But you can't help but find this shit funny. I, I, just, I just thought I'd share that. Anyway, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. One of the things that I learned when I moved to Texas is my boss actually owns a building that's about 8,000 square feet. It was advertised as 8,000 square feet. And when we measured the building with my Bosch, it actually came out to 8,090 square feet. Because here, when they sell you real estate, they don't lie about it. It's not, lying is not ingrained into the culture here, which is just so beautiful and something that takes a little bit of getting used to after the amount of time that I spent in that shithole. Anyway, that's it for today. And as always, hope you learned something. See you all in the next video.